Hello everyone, I'm going to quickly show you how to get two chapters of DAW markers into Reaper. So first I'm going to archive all of those chapters that I don't want the markers for. And you can do that in a few ways. This is the easiest. You can say archive chapters. And let's say I only want Sherlock Holmes and Alice in Wonderland. So I'll get rid of all of them except for that. And remember, archiving is just moving them out of the way. It's not deleting them. So we'll have two chapters right here. So four pickups to fix in Sherlock Holmes and 12 in Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to download the audio for both of these. And then I'm going to export DAW markers. Reaper and single marker and marker range are both options. If there is a range, when you choose the marker range option, it will have the start and end for the markers. Otherwise it'll be just at the beginning timestamps relative to the start of the book. That means if the whole book or your session in this case is just these two chapters, then it's going to use timestamps of those two in sequence and say export. And that will export a CSV file specifically for Reaper. And now we're going to open up Reaper. And then we'll put the two MP3s in the session. On a single track. And then to put the marker files in, I go to help search for marker. And there's the region marker manager, right click, import, either replace existing or merge, depending on your situation, we'll say replace existing, and then open up that CSV. And there they all are. So there's your start point and all of the names and all of the information that's exactly identical with what was in your positron session. And you can see them listed up at the top. Start to practice for himself. We know there has been a presentation. Back into his settee and blew little wave. Called dictionary and turned up the. So you see each one of those markers is exactly where the pickup occurs. And then you just slot in your pickups from end to beginning like you normally would. And you no longer have to type in timestamps to search for them.